Hi everyone, I'm Yulim. 안녕하세요, 여러분. Yulim입니다. Um, well, suddenly I feel like my hair is getting worse these days, but well, and my bang is getting longer, so I might have to cut it short again or just let it be longer and get rid of bang. I don't know. That's that's not important. <laughs> and today I kind of had a hard time finding a topic today. I don't know. I was lost, and my mother was having a dinner, and I was sitting next to her, and I was like, "Oh, 오늘 뭐 하지?" Which means, "Oh, what I'm gonna record today?" And she was like, "Uh,", uh she was eating kimchi at the time, and she told me, "Kimchi 먹어봤어? Kimchi 먹어봤어? 이거 해." You just you just make a video about kimchi 먹어봤어, kimchi 먹어봤어, which means have you tried kimchi? And I was like, oh, why not? <laughs> so that's the topic of today. Kimchi 먹어봤어, kimchi 먹어봤어. Mm, where's it go? Kimchi 먹어봤어, kimchi, kimchi. 먹어봤어, 먹어봤어. Here also, these two syllables, 밭 and 어, they're kind of connected. So the 받침 here, 쌍시옷 moves to here. So 봤어, 봤어, not 받어. Just make it sound like natural, naturally. 봤어, 봤어, have them connected. 김치 먹어봤어? 김치 먹어봤어? Which means 김, 김치, you know, kimchi is kind of a fermented one, like kind of a Korean traditional one, you know. <laughs> and 먹어봤어? 먹어봤어? It has a meaning of have you tried? Have you tried? And here, 먹, 먹, this comes from a verb 먹다. 먹다, which has the meaning of to eat. 먹다, 먹어봤어? And this ending part, this can be used um, to make a question about like experience. Experience. So for example, um, have you uh, have you traveled um, where else? Have you traveled Europe? 유럽 여행 해봤어? I'll just make another video about it. <laughs> well, just never mind. But this part could be used to ask the person's experience. The experience of the person. 김치 먹어 봤어? Have you tried 김치? 김치 먹어 봤어? So this is a question that asking your experience about eating kimchi. Have you tried kimchi? 김치 먹어봤어? 김치 먹어봤어? Maybe this is a question for you guys from my mother. <laughs> I don't know. 김치 먹어봤어? 김치 먹어봤어? Okay. I've met so many friends that like eating kimchi. Um, at the first time, I was kind of skeptical. Like it's like it has kind of a special like smell. And taste that could be hard for you guys as a foreigners, but well, I've met so many friends, so many people who loved kimchi. So I guess I don't know. It could be attractive for you guys too. I love kimchi also, but when I have to or when I live in a abroad, I usually I don't prefer eating like Korean foods because I love trying their local foods. So. And I can survive without current food, so. But so for some of my friends, when they are, when they leave abroad, they like, really, really have a, they really eager to eat like Korean foods. But well, kimchi, I love kimchi. So anyway, kimchi 먹어봤어? Kimchi 먹어봤어? Okay. Well. Um, thanks for watching me and see you in the next video. Bye!